Enjoying great art does not mean you have to go to Tampa or St. Pete. Today, Dr. Alexander Rich from the Pulp Museum of Art is here to share why you need to check them out. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to have you here. I'm, I'm a local gal, and I'm shocked that I have not heard about this yet. So again, I'm excited to bring this. Maybe others are, are like me and Absolutely. have not. You guys are actually affiliated with the Florida Southern College as well. So talk a little about kind of this partnership and what the mission is. It's a really exciting moment, I think, for the entire greater Central Florida community yeah. and, and for Lakeland in particular. But we just affiliated with Florida Southern College back in June. So the Polk Museum of Art has been a longstanding institution locally since 1966. But now we are transforming into an academic museum. Ah, and what we mean which, by that is like an academic museum for everyone. To okay. really elevate that whole intellectual experience of going to a museum. And let's be honest, you're trying to up the game as well as far as the exhibits that are being brought in. And because again, when you think of museums and arts, you don't necessarily think of Polk County. Exactly, and we want to change that. We want yeah. everybody to come and have some great exhibitions as draws. So right now we have some really excellent shows up. We have one which is Hudson River Landscapes. Okay, so explain this one. Okay, so this is a big get for I think anybody in this community and certainly for our museum. And I think a lot of people love looking at landscapes. Uh -huh. And the Hudson River School was one of the major art movements of the 19th century. And American artists developed mm -hmm. an entire new aesthetic of how to paint scenes of American scenic views, mm -hmm. American valley views, coastal scenes, and so we're bringing those in and I think people really enjoy seeing elements of everyday American life mm -hmm. of the recent past. Well, and I love that there's an education component with it as well. I mean, it's also history too, is it not? Exactly. I mean, I think it, it takes us into a world that's somewhat familiar, but yeah. also one of the great things about looking at art is looking at things that you might not have a chance to see in person mm -hmm. and to see a world slightly past. Yeah. So you're going to go there and you're going to see scenes of Certainly worlds I think that people can go visit. They can mm -hmm. go sightseeing, they can take an airplane yeah. there, but you're not gonna go back to the early 19th century and see what that world would have looked like back then. So okay. it's a little bit of a transformative yeah. experience. Let's talk about the exhibit uh, dealing with a little bit of Spain, right? Yeah, really excitingly as well, we have a, an exhibition called Masters of Spain, Goya and Picasso. And part of the premise this of that is- This is a big deal. It's a big deal. Those are really well-known names, uh -huh. and I think those would be great draws for people. I don't think there has been another opportunity in Central Florida to be able to see Goya and Picasso, two Who of the is, greatest- What is this piece right here? This is from the Toromachia series. This is mm -hmm. by Francisco Goya. So Goya was the greatest Spanish painter of the late 18th and early 19th century. Okay. And he did a whole series of studies on bullfighting. And it's a 40 print suite. We have the complete suite up at the museum wow. and it explores the history of bullfighting from ancient Iberian times all the way through to the time when this is published in 1816. Okay. So he sees it as truly part of the Spanish tradition and he believes that this is something after a war in Spain where they were fighting with France, he thought this would elevate the spirits of the Spanish people by looking at the firmness of the Spanish tradition as it related to bullfighting. Yeah. When you kind of plan it, obviously you're going to have a big hand as we get ready to wrap up here on kind of what's to come to the museum. Yeah. What do you want people to take home and kind of understand about the museum and what you're trying to do there? I think what is most important to me, certainly as an educator and mm -hmm. as a curator, and I think for all of us, we have such a fantastic team at the museum. We all really want people to come to any museum, mm -hmm. and especially our yeah. museum, and be able to just learn a lot about art and to realize that they can learn about the world, learn about how others see the world, gain a sense of mm -hmm. empathy through other people's yeah. eyes. The real power of art is to make people think differently and to learn new things. And it truly is an education. Generations. And it's you also know? a fun experience yeah. too. I want also people of all ages to be able to look at art. I was going to say kids or kids alive, a five-year-old and a four-year-old. Yeah. Is it a <laughs> family friendly? It's absolutely, extremely yeah. family friendly. And we have so many educational programs. Yeah. We have panel discussions. There's okay. always something going on in the museum and it's easy to get to from all anywhere right. in the Central Florida area. Well, there are the dates when you can see the exhibits that we talked about. Keep us posted. We know Absolutely. there are lots, uh, lots more good things to come. We appreciate your time this morning. Thanks so much. I appreciate it.